So I've had a lot of people joining the server and not having the mod on, then wondering why everything in their inventory disappears when they log out. So I, I thought I'd make a quick tutorial video of how to install the mods so that so I, that, so that I don't have to keep repeating myself to every new player that doesn't read the title or description or the announcement or any of the links in the, the Discord. So we'll start at the Discord where if you go into server related links, I put a bunch of links that you can easily get all this stuff from. Um, this is the mod that you want. It's on the Nexus. You might need to sign in to download this. But um, once you're here, you want to go back to the the links here and go to the server page. Here you can find which version the server is running and it's just this top post here that's always there. You can click read more. There's written instructions here as well and links and you just find where it says server version uh, there it is server version 0 0.9 so you go back to here there's also instructions here in the in the description just go files it's the 120 version 0 0.9 which is the latest as of right now manual download wow there we go wait for that to download and once it's downloaded you just extract here and you only need two of these you don't need this seven days to die server data you don't need that if you're just if it's just single player or it's a, on a server you want to join you don't need that that's only for if you're installing it onto a server so you just copy this and then go to your Steam, 70s deny, go properties, local files, browse local files, paste, replace, and then you can close that. And then when you click play, you want to go to show game launcher, play. Then you'll get this menu. You want to uncheck, uncheck, use anti cheat. So just uncheck that and run and save as default. And that's it. That's all there is to it. So uh, if you ever want to uninstall it, it's, it's really simple. Or if you have some other problems, you can just right click properties, local files, and verify integrity of game files. And that will restore it to default and your saves will be okay. It's just the, the game files it reinstalls. So yeah. That's it.